What's going on out there? Uh, this is the Steedy B F405 flight controller I got in here. Running iNav. So I'm going to just go through the settings on how I got mine all hooked up because I seen someone on the social media was saying he couldn't get something to work right. But I'm going to go ahead and make this video. This be my second time using iNav and everything but let me go through my setting for you you know here's the very beginning at the top you know you calibrate you finish all the calibration and then my mixer if you did it all right you got it set for airplane right there wing right there throttle is a uh, s1 which is your esc ailerons ailerons whatever you want to call them you got on three and four all right i'm running a boxer radio so right here i just adjusted the two up at the top I don't know if they are on or not. So then we're going to go to outputs. My outputs, it is on. I enable it so everything would move. And you go to your motor. I was told you can go right here in the mids or whatever. And you can set it up to get your servos centered, right? And now we go into ports. As long as you got all your ports set up right, which is my number one is my uh, receiver. Nothing on number two. On three, I got my GPS. And then on four, there's nothing. On five, I have my VTX IRC tramp. Six is turned on so I can use the Wi Fi app. All right, now we're going down to configuration. All right, here's my configuration slowly going down, and I have air mode enabled, launch mode is enabled. That's all I have for them set up. Um, nothing in programming or advanced tuning. My receiver, you know, you set it up right there, T-A-E-R, which I'm running using the Spectrum one right here, the JR Spectrum Grumpner, using that one. My modes. Okay. My arm is on channel five. My angle mode is on channel 10. My manual mode is on channel 10. My returner home is on channel seven. Auto tune on eight. Servo trim on nine. Beeper, which I have on a momentary switch. LEDs, which I have set on channel five, so they'll come on when I arm it, which I don't even use. I just use the little doggle that they give with it, the 405 flight control. And then Acro right here, it is it engages when um, I take it out of auto launch. No, it goes to angle mode, and then when I put it in Acro, I can switch the switch to Acro. And let's see, GPS. I use the U Block 07 for GPS. Um, no satellites up on it right now, even though it's plugged in. Magnetometer, I don't use. Mission, I don't use. OSD, you know, put your stuff wherever you want in OSD. But. And that's everything I got. And I am using a Radio Master Boxer controller, which is down in the backpack. And <clears throat> I. Right.
believe I got everything already set. This thing's ready for a maiden flight and everything for auto launch. But that's how I set up my iNav 6.1. Uh, let's see. So, but this is my AR Wing Pro. I am running a. Let me hold on. Let me disconnect from the computer. Uh, what is that motor? Is a Hyperlite. The E series. It is a. Dang, I forgot what I put on here. KV is 1322. Motor size is a 2807.5 with a 9 by 4 inch prop. So I'm hoping this thing go well. I'm using a right hand TBS tramp antenna. Over the years, it's all been left. And then I'm using for his VTX. It's an AKK Ace Ranger, which put out to one watt. Battery right now that I have in this thing is a 3004S milliamp. And being honest, the only thing I don't like about this wing is all the weight you got to put in here to get center of gravity. So I ain't going to pull it off because it's hard to slide it back in because I got it gooped. But this w little piece right here weighs 68.7 grams, right? Then, let me turn on some light. If you look right here where it's looking black on both sides, those are actually little rubber magnets and that was able to get me center of gravity where I need it with this on here. And I have, let me show you, in the gray duct tape right here, it's a steel plate wrapped in there. And then here's another steel plate that I put in here. Now that gives me perfect center of gravity. That's with that, but I do have a gold, a old school GoPro Hero 4 that I want to stick on the front. So I'm hoping when I put it on, it'll still come out center of gravity right. But that's my AR Wing Pro setup with iNav. Thanks for watching.